hello and welcome back to a fun floating item outside of Volcano Manor. And today I'll be exploring this section and if I have time, this area. And then if I have even more time, trying to do the stuff that was added for the white mask Vari without needing to be online and invade people. Though, I mean, that the invasion thing, as long as the online system is in place, you can just invade, leave, invade, leave, invade, leave. I think that's all you need to do. But I would rather not do that because that kind of doesn't fit the intended thing where you're supposed to try and fight people. And it's just kind of annoying. So I'm going to be exploring. Um, ooh, the purple. The purple mist in the air. wonder if that's connected... Did he just throw... Oh, no, that was an archer. Good. I wonder if the purple mist in the air is connected to the, um... Falling Star Beast that I think is right in that area up ahead. Okay, he shot me once. Shame on you. Yeah, today's going to be that exploration. Last time I got right card, it didn't go very smoothly. I still didn't figure out how to dodge that one attack. I'm not sure if you're supposed to roll through it or if you're supposed to actually be able to time it properly and jump. Oh, I can't go this way, can I? Rough. I guess I have to start from... here? I mean, I don't know. I bet you could maybe jump up there, but it'd be very finicky. So I don't know where to go. It's been a while. I think what I want to do is... What was that? Oh, I guess I got shot and so it kicked me out of the menu. And then since I had a direction, I was inputting a direction, it kind of messed with movement. Or it, you know, became an input for movement. Can I go down? I don't think I want to go down. Actually, I think if I go down there, I can get to the area. But I think it's probably better to just travel to the grace. So I'll have to explore this section first, I guess. If I want to explore the other portion. It, it seems. But I just need to find the... There's a ladder on the left that I think is a ways in. It's like basically all the way at the end. I mean, this doesn't really save much time. It's probably faster to come from the other direction. Like starting from outside Volcano Manor area might be faster. Just because it's probably a little less uh, Iron Maiden chasing you. Iron Maidens are weird. Like, were they a torture device, or were they just a murder device? Cause I guess it would... I mean... I guess if it's torture primarily with the intent of death, it would qualify as a torture device? I guess an execution. A device for execution might be what I'm trying to figure out like it's an it's there to execute people in a horrific way instead of like a guillotine which is relatively well i mean i guess depending on who you believe from the times where guillotines were used it's relatively quick there's some like reports of heads still being alive after being chopped off by a guillotine like eyes moving and stuff it's probably like remaining muscle reactions is would be my assumption but i i know nothing about the topic like if you die if you're still alive for a bit of time might be a bad way to go if you're dead the moment your head gets cut off, it's probably not the worst. I mean, there is a pre-existing, like, specific... 
What the? I pressed the button and didn't climb. That's frustrating. Okay, come on this way. I'm not here to fight you. Climb, please. Thank you. Please. Like, there's a streamer slash YouTuber who did... Who's very, um... What the? Interesting. He's going to climb it now, right? Weird. Their AI is pretty garbage for this. So I, I, I go down a little. Yeah, no, their AI is really bad for this, huh? Like, well, anyway, I was going to talk about Northern Lion. They did a weird execution tier list stream. Because, okay, they, no, their AI is just terrible. Wow. That's funny. I enjoy that. And, I mean, it fit with their general style. But, I'm not going to get into that sort of rating them. I'm just, it's not the worst way. Like, it's weird to say, but the classic Brazen slash brass slash bronze, whatever name, bull. Probably one of the worst. And that's all I will say. I will no longer talk about execution methods. Beyond saying that an Iron Maiden seems like it must be an execution method. As opposed to just like a torture method. Because I think... So... I would say in my head I classify stuff, and I would say that I would have, generally I would classify the, an Iron Maiden as a torture method, or a torture device, I think that's where I want to go, but I, thinking about it more, beyond just that initial classification, it's probably an execution device. Because I don't think you can survive having a bunch of spikes driven through your body. That's a weird appearance. That's like the most... Like, pop in 40 meters... Like, t pop in 5 meters above the ground and fall. So that it doesn't, like, appear in the floor slightly too low and then fall out of the world. It's funny. Probably, it's not what it is, because it's just, the aesthetic for those is that they just sort of appear out of the air, so it's like, fine, but. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. I mean, I should have been hit there, but they don't know how to aim. Anyway, I was talking about, I gotta, like, it's sort of, classifying stuff is just sort of. I'm curious whether that's how people, other people remember stuff. Because, like, it's not an intentional way of me remembering. It's not like, oh, memory palace. Remembering stuff via explicit association where, like, oh, walking down my house. On the left, I see a pineapple. On that pineapple is the name King Richard the Lionheart. Was the Lionheart Richard? I don't really care about historic... Do they teleport up here? Or is that where they spawn? I don't really care about historic monarchy of Britain. But Richard the Lionheart sounds right. Yeah, that looks just weird. I think the ladder on the left is... Yeah, it, it's the better way to get to the top. Or maybe the only way, but like... It's the one to go up. This is the one to explore on the way up. But for me, memory is all, I mean, I imagine most people it is, but you, you never know. You don't know how other people remember stuff. You don't know how people picture stuff, but memory is all association, which I assume is the case for everyone, but like, I can remember the most meaningless, specific stuff, but it will 
generally only pop up for some random association. Like, and I mean, talking about random associations is by itself one of the random associations to just random memories that can just trigger a random memory. Like, it, talking about that just made me think of how one association that I could think of is salty fries could make me think of how my family went on, like, a vacation to Disney, whichever one's in Florida. Like, I don't know. It was a, well over a decade ago. It was at least 15 years ago. It might have been more like 20. I don't remember. But... What? I'm up above. You can't see me. I guess it has a radius based trigger. I guess I'll go down. I half expect it to splat and die there. But this is the other ladder, I think. Anyway. We went there. And... We ate at a place that just had incredibly salty fries. That memory is here forever. I will never lose that memory. Maybe one of these could look good. Um, sure, that could look good. This could look good. Those could look good. And I definitely want that. Let's look, let's check how they look. Oh, I wanted to check the hood. Does it do anything? That's not bad. It fits with the cloak decently. It doesn't go over the cloak. That's too leather. I don't like the leather cape. Does it have any special effects? Not really. Okay, let's go back to the perfumer. I kind of like the aesthetic. The hood looks fine. It, it's a bit of a mismatch. And the... The only reason you can't see the cape part of the hood is because the perfumer's thing is clipping through it and taking advantage because it's just a little bigger. But you can see part of it and I kind of dislike that. But I'm not going to pay that much attention to it. Because I have a shield on my back that blocks it mostly. That's good. Yeah. Specific memories are always... Hyper-specific triggers. I can remember... like. I have a specific memory when I was 9 or 10 at a parent's friend's house. They have kids our age. We talked about how they talked about how I could cook scrambled eggs. Anyone should be able to cook scrambled eggs. They're easy to cook. Why were we talking about that? Maybe because one of their daughters couldn't cook scrambled eggs? Or how they'd learned specifics don't get kept. Just the general oddity of the memory. Like, why was that a topic? Oh, I hate these guys. That should have hit me. Okay, that w that's so weird looking. It's just weird looking. The it's a very quick burst. When it feels like it should last, like, twice as long. Uh, let's not climb that. Yeah, I just... There's something about memory that really... Sticks with me that makes me think about it a lot. Is it ironic? I don't know that... I'm bad... I mean, most people, I think, are bad with irony. I don't know if it's ironic. By the definition of irony that I find that I can't forget about, like, I, it consistently, I'm reminded of the concept of memories. It's probably irony, but it might not be. Uh, I know dramatic irony though. Dramatic irony is just easy and it's not, you know, real world necessarily. There's probably scenarios where you could say it's that, but I think dramatic irony is contingent on drama. And while there can be things that are dramatic, it's not 
the same type of drama in the real world. So I don't think you can have act. You can't really have dramatic irony in reality, but there can be scenarios that if in a drama would qualify as dramatic irony and then referring to dramas in that way just made a link to soap operas i don't watch soap operas but apparently the first soap operas were about soap like the very first was trying to sell paul Mollive, which paul Mollive seems like it should be by the name feels like it should be a cooking oil but it's a soap I think it's British and I heard that it's called palm olive because it has palm oil or it had palm oil and olive oil the keyword being had it is an American brand it's not UK. Ah, Paul Mollive, produced by Colgate Paul Mollive. Yes, it's a British, it's a, not British, it's American company. Yes, this is the enemy. Okay, so I have to buff. Do that, buff. I. That was bad. Two, and then one more. That was terrible. I'm just panicking. Oh, that one felt bad, because I definitely dodged it. I just didn't get out of the AoE. That was just bad play. That was panic roll constantly. Okay, like, Palm Olive... And soap operas. Ah, uh, soap operas. They're just ads, initially. And apparently there's like, at one, there was also a, an ad campaign that was sort of a long running that could, in some ways, be defined as... Oops. That's not good. Wrong button. Oh, well. Too late. Buffing is a real pain. I probably should do it before I come up here, huh? Because it doesn't last... long, but... Okay, I... I I'm out of FP. I'm out of range. Hits really hard, though. Yeah. Shotgun. I'm actually doing damage, though. I think the first time I fought this, when I was, like, with a dex-focused build, it felt real bad. Like... A lot of my damage came from bleed. It wasn't a bleed build, but a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. A lot of my damage came from bleed, and something made of rocks can't really bleed. I thought this wasn't the full grown one, though. That was lucky. I am actually kind of a fan of this setup. It's more interesting than other options. I'm gonna die. I got lucky. What is this attack? Okay. I don't know that attack. Two more beams need to hit, and I think he dies. I can just move away, and I'm safe. Don't move into it, though. OK, 
Okay, one more beam. One more beam. We moved into it. I got lucky. I actually really like this setup. I'm very happy with it. Like, I'm not using the shield as a shield, but using a shield as a buff is kind of fun. I think that might be an int strength weapon. Strength int. But it's a hammer? Maybe? Could be a colossal weapon, though. Yeah, it's a colossal weapon. It's strength int. Not the best int scaling, but... I could use it for variety. That could be fun. Whoa. Okay, that probably is pretty good against something you're locked on to. Eh, kind of a boring strong attack, but I might use it. It's different. It's another option for variety. Okay, so that was my main goal, honestly. I wanted to fight the Falling Star Beast. That was a fully grown one. Yeah, it really looks like I should be able to explore the tops of those. But I don't think I've ever done that. It could just be to be consistent with design elsewhere, where you can explore those. So say, like, oh, even if you can't explore this, we don't just put them in place for you to explore. They're everywhere. It's a real world. Everything's like this. I don't know. I'm not going to go back to explore that right now, though. Uh, but I'm lost. Uh, Paul Molov is making me think about... Now it's making me think about... Um, also, imagine climbing that ladder. It'd be rough. I'm thinking about Kellogg's and how... The inventor of Kellogg's... Cornflakes' his brother was kind of a, I would say by modern standards, a terrible person. Uh, I guess it's more by some modern standards. I imagine there are people alive now who'd be like, oh, he's a great guy. They should have kept up his work. Like, my understanding is the relationship between the brothers was not straightforward so it's just kind of in general just kind of long lasting Kellogg's cornflakes and how there is another association with the name Kellogg but you won't really know it because Cornflakes and whatever else Kellogg's is a brand makes that I can't remember the name of because I don't really eat cereal. I don't like cereal. It's not like, cereal's not gross. I just it takes so much more effort to eat cereal, which is not quite right. For how good it is, it takes a lot of effort. Like cereal is not great. And I would rather eat, like, leftovers. It's like, if I'm going to have food, I'll eat whatever. It's, it's kind of probably not the best, but like, oh, leftover chicken wings. Perfect breakfast. Leftover pizza. Perfect breakfast. And like, if I want something that's breakfast appropriate, generally, I'd much rather just I don't know, some toast. But like, cereal isn't bad. I just don't love it. Uh, let's go all in. It's unnecessary, but... This is as much bu pre-buffing as I'll ever get to in this game, because I'm personally not a fan of super buffing to like two-shot enemies. Like, having a buff routine before every boss. Personally, it doesn't appeal to me. I can 100% understand the appeal. It is... There is a certain... Like, degree of fun to that... Elaborate, like, okay. Do this, then this, then this. Go into the boss and two-shot it. Oh. 
it's one of these people. It's not a person because it's not a person. But. Well, it, it is a demi human. What makes it a demi human? Like, is it. Are they establishing that it is biologically part human? Or are they just using demi human as a way to refer to something that has humanoid characteristics, in which case, like. A chimpanzee could be called a demi-human. Because it's more closely related to humans than that creature appears to be. Kind of want the biology. The evolution of this world. I don't think it would be worth anything. And I wouldn't, if there was a book, like, oh, here's the evolution. Official evolution planning. I wouldn't read it. Because it's not that important. But I am curious about that. Like, is it just, oh, they're called demi-humans because that's a common term for fantasy creatures that aren't quite human but are pretty close? Because it is common in... Oh, I, I dropped down there. It is common in, like various stories. It's like, oh, dwarves are demi-humans. They're not humans. They're also explicitly not related to humans. They're just separate. But it's also generally in worlds where, like, half dwarfs, half elves can exist. Which, I mean, it's all magic, so the biological capacity is not actually important. Why be stealthy when you can just kill them? But like, I don't know. Sort of, horses and donkeys can reproduce, but the distinction that they are separate, well, part of the distinction that they are a separate species is that offspring of a horse and a donkey cannot reproduce. Weird, I can teleport here. Because I'm in a cave. Normally you can't teleport in these. Huh. Um, where do I want to go? Right here? Yes, I'm sidetracked. Uh, I think I should go here, actually. If I go here, then I can go to the left, which is what I wanted to actually explore today. But I got sidetracked. Wait, this is not where I want to be. This is a different campsite. No, this is the campsite I wanted. Okay, good. Like, like, ligers and, I don't think the inverse is called, I think there is a different term. Like, ligers are male of either a lion or tiger, female of the opposite. I'm pretty sure that it's, there's a different name if it's a different, um, combination. Though I'm not... It could just be that different combinations don't work. I don't know. Okay, so that's not where I want to be. Because that's down there. So that's not... Maybe it's this way? I think that's where I want to go. Because I want to go... Explore as much as I can. Oh, maybe I'm... I think I'm confused. I think... What the... Okay. I remember somewhere near the release, people complained about those. Like, wolves just appearing like that. But then there's the fact that you can just run past it. That kind of undercuts any threat. I'll do- I'll go down here. I think this is a hero's grave. Uh, let's accept the side tracking. I will just- if this is a hero's grave, I'll try to do it. That will probably take at least 15 minutes. But I think I do have to go somewhere from here maybe it's maybe there's a path right here that just goes this way but I think this might come from further down I'm not sure where's my door there's my door oh I still haven't done the hero's grave near the start huh um 
I think doing no heroes graves right now is the right choice. If I start, if I do one heroes grave, I'd have to make sure I mark them appropriately. Like I can come back really easily, and instead of being like, "Oh, did I finish his heroes grave?" I just don't touch heroes graves until I've found, until I am like, "Okay, that heroes grave, uh, this heroes grave, that one or this one, one of these." It's probably the Stranded Graveyard one. There's a Hero's Grave back there through a key-based door. But I can figure out where I need to go. I, I want to be over here. Up there. I might be able to get there from that path. So I will try... It could also be from all the way down there, though. That's the issue. I've gotten so sidetracked. I was talking about something. I can't remember what I was talking about. It's remarkable. It isn't. It's something that happens all the time. It's also why I don't trust my memory. What's that? At the base of that tree right above my sword. Is that like a skull shape or is that just a coincidence? My assumption... Okay, yeah, that definitely doesn't wrap around. That definitely just goes to the right. Maybe I have to go from the Volcano Manor straight to the left when I exit it to get around to there. That wouldn't surprise me. Soporific Grease. Whoop, don't fall there. Oh, there's a... What's the vent? It's like a steam vent. I think the play right now is save quit, and then fast travel. It'll save more time to do this. I think I'll try going left out of Volcano Manor, and if it's the wrong choice, then I'll adjust. I didn't click the button. So I want to go probably here and hope that this is where I need to go. If not, I should be able to get a good idea of where I need to go after. Um, oh, they left. But, like, she's gone. The Tonic of Forgetfulness. Maybe... Maybe she's somewhere in here still. Uh, Rhea, Raya. Maybe she is still somewhere there, so I can give her the Tonic of Forgetfulness. Because that's something to do with her little quest line. About forgetting that... Tanith isn't her mother. Forgetting that she's a snake. I do not remember. Okay. That's definitely down below. So it's definitely to get around to here there's definitely just a path up so if i want to explore that i need to follow this path all the way from here i think which i will do because i want to get that bit explored a bit so now it's just to the north i think there's there's a Tibia Mariner in a location nearby. Maybe up there. Wait, did I ever get the thing to notify me? Of the Tibia Mariner being nearby? I should have, right? Maybe I have to talk to the beast dude. It doesn't look like I got it. Maybe I did, though. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Never mind, that's Spirit Calling Bell. I don't use it, so I don't know what it looks like. Eh. Oh, I have a bunch of bell bearings to give in. I have a prayer book. Yeah, should be straight to the north, I think. Nope, I'm wrong. It must be upstairs that I have to go to get to where I'm trying to get to. I'll just check real quick. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. So it must be up 
on the upper section that I have to follow. This feels like there should be a dragon here. There's something over there, but I don't think that's a dragon. I don't want to get too sidetracked exploring this area, though. I want to come back and explore this area. Okay, that's just a large pile of stone. For a second, I thought it was a giant that was super giant. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's not get sidetracked. I'm not going to explore that. That won't get me where I'm trying to go. I think there's a path, I guess, between the two cliffs that I can follow. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Golden Roa. Yeah, the assassin on top of the carriage cart. What are these carriages? Like, are they carriages? Or are they train cars? They look kind of like they should be train cars. It's not really an assassin, but... Oh! I still haven't run through here. This isn't... That canyon isn't what I'm looking for. It might be over here that I'm looking for. But the canyon between the two cliffs... Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. It must be from up here, maybe? Which is through the canyon. But this canyon, I'm going to be attacked by a dragon. Maybe I try to fight the dragon? I don't know if it can be killed, or if it's one that leaves and comes back. Oh yeah, it's Lensiax. This is definitely one that you don't... wrong button. This is when you fight in Fair Missoula, right? And is honestly one of the most annoying dragon bosses. Because it's such an awkward location to fight. I'm slow. That was bad. Very bad play. But I'm not going to fight him. I'm bad at fighting him. And I am 90% sure you can't kill him. Because if you could kill him, it would... Oh, convenient. If you could kill him, I don't know. Like it, it would be a bit too much of a duplicate. Because it's the exact same enemy that you fight in an awkward location. I've only... F Sorry, I'm going to fight him again just for a second because I need to think. Something that just crossed my mind here. Oh, cool. I'm fine. Ooh, that's all, those trees are laggy. But something that crossed my mind. Oop. I expect to be hit there. I died more to the fight against this guy in Fairmazula. Yeah, he leaves right away. Good. I died more to the fight with this guy than I died to the actual, like, kind of hard to find dragon boss. Which, that dragon boss, I came back, I was like fully geared, two handed, plus 10 great swords. Well, no, two uh, dual wielding, plus 10 great swords. I was already like end game stock. But I didn't really learn how to fight him. Smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. I got very sidetracked. Vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. When? Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the scarlet rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wild. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north. In the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, I'm sure she's passed into the lands. Yeah. I'll get the bonfire. I won't explore anything here because I want to focus on just getting what I'm trying to do and done. And then I don't have to come back. But I'll grab this. Well, I do have to come back here. But I don't want to come back. Having half explored stuff. Because then, if I come back like that, 
I'll be like, oh, I already did this, and then I'll miss something that is potentially important. I'm at 11 plus 7. That's actually really good, I think. I think that's actually pretty close. Oh, actually, 12 plus 7. Because I still have a... Uh, Cerulean? Cerulean flask. Yes, this is where I want to be. This is where there's a Tibia Mariner. I guess since I only have five minutes, I will let this be a sidetrack. And I will fight a Tibia Mariner. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Where'd the Mariner go? Where'd he go? Is he, did I just see him for a second? Yes, I did. This is probably my least favorite type of Mariner. The ones with... Uh, big skeletons. Because when they have big skeletons, they just have... They're very... Uh, they're threatening in a very different way. Or it's just huge AoE attacks everywhere. When they attack you. I don't know what this does. Is that his skeleton summon? Or is he about to explode? And kill all his buddies. For some reason. And there's a big skeleton that just appeared because I guess it was in the process of summoning. Oh, those aren't his summons. Those are just normal enemies. Good to know. I expected them to disappear, which is why I got almost killed. Oops. So now I think I haven't explored this. This is unexplored. That doesn't count as exploration. I need to keep that in my head. That I have not explored that. I think this is where I want to go, though. Through here can get me around to here, I believe. Okay, that's good. I at least found the path. It took me all of 42 minutes, but I found how to get to the place I wanted to explore at the start of the episode. It d only took me the entire episode, but I can finally explore it. Um, do I want to level this more? I don't think I want to. I want to keep it at 20 for now. Now, do I level mind? Ooh, four per level is pretty good. Do I level mind or do I level intelligence for, like, actual damage? Or do I level strength? Because that's damage as well. I think it's either intelligence or mind. I mean, realistically, it's probably Vigor that I should level, but for now, I will. I want to stick with 25 Vigor for now. I will probably regret it once I get to Millennia, but if I do, I can respec and put more points into Vigor, because respecing is pretty easy in this game. Ooh, that brings me down to 399. That's actually perfect. Um... I think I'll try to put 10 points into mind. Because if I get more points in mind, then I'll be able to make better use of this, wrong button, this, and this. I'll be able to do that a bunch more. So it'll be better, I think, to level mind a few times. If it's four per level, I'll gain 40 FP. It's probably not, it might not be consistently 40 for every level. But if it's 40 FP, that is one more cast of both of these. Which I guess basically means 30 something's probably all I need, but. Okay, 31. I'm currently at 80. Well, I, w I was at 80. Once I'm at 93 FP, I can cast both of them three times. Maybe I just go for that. 93. And then I would need 125 to do another two casts. Uh, the math was wrong. 31. 93 plus 1. 94 plus 30 is 24. 124. I would need 124 to be able to cast both three times. Now, I don't need to cast both all the time, so being able to cast 
just the swords buff another time is worthwhile. But I think 93 will be the FP I go for. Once I hit 93, which should be... I think my math is all wrong. Because I think I went from... I gained 4, so I went from 78 to 82. But that had nothing to do with what I was thinking of. But I still think 93 is the goal. Put points into here till I'm at at least 93, and then maybe just pump int until, like, 50. I don't know the best number to go for, but... I'll wrap it up here. Next time, I will actually do what I plan to do today. Which was explore... This area. But I forgot. Slash. Well, forgot and didn't remember. Sort of feel like they have a different tone. Like, I forgot that this was on the lower path implies that I actually knew. And I didn't remember. To me, sort of suggests. that I potentially didn't know, but I also might have forgotten. Like, I didn't remember, or I couldn't remember if you had told me, is sort of a polite way of saying, you might never have told me in the first place. Like, I, I couldn't remember versus... Oh... Yeah, like, I couldn't remember your name versus I forgot your name has a different impact. Oh, like, I forgot your name. Oh, I couldn't remember your name. It feels nicer, maybe? Because couldn't remember, I guess, has the... The couldn't implies you tried to remember. I forgot implies you forgot. Like, you didn't bother to try to remember sort of feeling. But that's my own impression. I don't really know the nuance of the social applications of words like that. It's too specific because it doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, couldn't feels like you tried and failed and for couldn't remember versus forgot. Forgot feels, oh, I forgot. Forgot's a ver it's a verb, so I forgot. I, I verb, I did the action of forgetting versus... I did the action of trying to not forget, but I still forgot anyway. That's a weird topic to focus on. I need to, I need to wrap up. So I'll stop here. I'll do what I plan to do today, tomorrow, next time. Well, it will be tomorrow, but it won't be tomorrow for me. It'll be a couple days for me. But yeah, I'll, I'll do this then. There, what I do remember, though, is somewhere here... There is a sword thing. Stone sword? Is that what they're called? I have so many rune arcs. It's so nice. I can use all of them on millennia and still lose. Grace mimics. What? I don't... Like... It shows you... I don't know the purpose. Like, is that pointing me to here? Like, are both of these pointing to the same location? Is this pointing to Rikard? Is this pointing here? What? What's the purpose of these? Weird. I felt like I'd try it on the off chance that I was misinterpreting them. And like, maybe it's a homeward bone. But it's not. How dirty am I? Uh, not dirty. No need to use soap. Yeah, I'll stop here. I got rambly. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.